Mary Shelley, the celebrated author of Frankenstein, spent the last years of her life in Belgravia, London, a neighbourhood that, during the mid-19th century, was a burgeoning symbol of affluence and elegance. Shelley, who had endured significant personal tragedies, including the loss of her husband, Percy Bishy Shelley, and three of her four children, sought solace in the quieter streets of Belgravia. She lived at 24 Chester Square, a modest yet respectable home compared to her earlier nomadic life across Europe. Despite her fame as a pioneering author of science fiction, Mary Shelley's later years were marked by a quieter literary output, focusing primarily on editing and promoting her husband's works. She also worked on her own writing, though her health often interfered, as she suffered from recurring bouts of illness. Belgravia offered her the comfort of stability. While living at 24 Chester Square in Belgravia, Mary Shelley focused largely on editing and curating the works of her late husband, Percy Bishy Shelley. One notable effort during this time was her work on editing poetical works of Percy Bishy Shelley, a collection that helped solidify his reputation as one of England's great romantic poets. Mary also worked on biographical notes and essays, contributing her insights and contextualising her husband's poetry for a growing audience. She also continued to write stories for annuals and gift books, which were popular at the time, as well as contributing articles to periodicals. These short stories and articles often explored themes of love, loss and the supernatural, elements that had characterised her earlier work. Although she did not undertake major novel projects during her time at Chester Square, Mary Shelley's literary efforts were instrumental in preserving and celebrating the romantic legacy, as well as in exploring her own literary voice, albeit in a more subdued manner compared to her earlier years. Mary Shelley passed away on February 1st, 1851, at the age of 53. Her death was attributed to what was later understood as a brain tumour. She was buried alongside her parents, the feminist philosopher Mary Wollstonecraft, and the political philosopher William Godwin, in St Peter's Church, Bournemouth. Her years in Belgravia may have been less dramatic than her earlier life, but they were a period of reflection, where she quietly continued her contributions to literature, ensuring her and her husband's legacies would endure.